Hi everyone! While the technique of ostinato, a short melodic figure persistently repeated, may occur in any part of a texture and for any length of time, when it's used in a bass part for all or the majority of a work, it's known as a bass ostinato or ostinato bass. Works which use an ostinato bass over which the harmony and melody are varied may be known as a ground, chacon or passicalia. Any suitable bass figure may be used, although a fairly common type is derived from the descending chromatic tetrachord between a key's first and fifth degrees, the standard harmonization of which uses major and minor dominant and subdominant chords to move between the key's tonic and dominant harmony. In the Crucifixus from J.S. Bach's B minor mass, for example, a descending chromatic tetrachord in the work's tonic key E minor forms the four-bar ostinato. While in some locations of this work, Bach closely follows the tetrachord's standard harmonization, he also varies, sometimes considerably, his chord choices. Melodic variety is found in all upper parts, but especially the voices, which also include more textural variety than the string and flute parts, which together essentially maintain half-note rhythm throughout. While this ostinato bass in some ways restricts the harmonic choices, its melodic descent allows Bach to be freer with some of the texture's vertical interactions, which often may be heard in several ways. Here, for example, above the bass's D-sharp note, Bach uses A, C and F-sharp notes, which may be heard as E minor's leading note diminished seventh chord. Given the ostinato standard harmonization, however, it may also be heard as first inversion B dominant harmony, with the first violin's C sounding as a 7-6 suspension, and the second violin's A as a passing note to the second flute's B. Similarly, here Bach uses the same idea over the bass's C-sharp note, with the resulting vertical combination being heard either as a half-diminished 7th chord on the raised submediant, or first inversion subdominant harmony, with the first violin's B resolving as a 7-6 suspension, and the second violin's G as a passing note to the second flute's A. This interaction also should probably be heard as a continuation of the notes of the previous secondary G-sharp diminished seventh harmony sounding over the bass's C-sharp note. As with the previous examples, here the major subdominant chord is not actually sounded, but is instead replaced by other notes resolving to the following chords. For anyone looking to improve their analytical skills and their knowledge of harmony and non-harmony notes, I recommend looking at the entire Crucifixus. I may also make a video looking at Bach's non-harmony note usage in this work. For the remainder of this video, I'll essentially be looking at some of the different ways Bach harmonizes the four-bar ostinato. We've already seen, for example, his inclusion of secondary G-sharp diminished 7th harmony preceding A major subdominant harmony over the bass's C-sharp note. The secondary diminished 7th usage is a fairly common inclusion for Bach, and is also found here, where, unlike the earlier example, the major subdominant chord is present in the texture. In this ostinato repetition also, Bach includes this A-sharp secondary diminished seventh chord resolving to B-dominant harmony, and preceding the cadential 6-4, Bach uses this vertical combination, which may be heard as a French augmented sixth chord on E minor's lowered sixth degree. Interestingly, beginning the following ostinato pattern, Bach uses E major harmony, sounding as E minor's tonic with a piccadilly third. Together with the previous B dominant 7th chord, however, it may also be heard as part of an altered 2-5 progression in A minor, with this vertical combination potentially sounding as A minor's tonic here in 2nd inversion.
Bach also suggests in a similar way the key of A minor in the same location of another ostinato entry before actually moving briefly into A minor in these bars. Here these notes should probably be heard as G sharp leading note diminished seventh harmony sounding over the bass's C sharp note. Similar to the previous example, Bach here harmonizes the B note of the ostinato as A minor supertonic with the beginning E note of the following ostinato as its dominant. As before, A minor's dominant may here also be heard as E minor's tonic with a piccati third. Bach then moves back into E minor, harmonizing this D sharp note with D sharp leading note diminished seventh harmony, followed by a minor dominant chord over the D. For the work's final ostinato pattern, Bach alters the chromatic descent, moving after the C note back up to a D to then cadence in G major. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.